Hello and welcome to this tutorial on memory leak. Now a computer program needs two critical resources to run. These are processor time and memory. Now this is the operating system and this is the memory. The memory is under the control of the operating system. The program is run by the operating system. As the program runs, it requests memory from the operating system. The operating system allocates memory to the program. It is the responsibility of the program to release unneeded memory back to the operating system. The freed memory can be used by the operating system to allocate to other running programs. Now if the program does not return unneeded memory and keeps running, the system has less and less memory available. So this is memory leak. Now let us see the undesirable effects of memory leaks. These include slow system performance because the system is forced to use secondary storage like physical disk in place of main memory. Faults or crashes in, in running programs because they are unable to get the memory that they need. The system may hang meaning become unresponsive because no memory is available to even switch programs or start a new program. A system reboot frees up all the resources including the leaked memory. But once the faulty program runs again, it can leak memory leading to the same effects all over again. A memory leak can be confirmed by review of the program source code. Memory leaks are a common programming error when using programming languages that don't have automatic garbage collection such as C and C++. Now let us see an example of how a memory leak can be written by mistake. Here is a section of pseudo code for ATM withdrawal. When a withdrawal amount is entered by the customer, get some memory to remember that amount. Place the amount into the memory. If the amount is greater than account balance, meaning the transaction cannot take place, or the transaction is cancelled by the customer, finished, else debit the account with the amount, dispense the cash amount and release the memory used to remember the amount. Now if the amount entered by the customer is, gr is greater than the account balance or the customer cancels the transaction no further action is taken. This means that the memory obtained to put the amount is now unneeded but not returned back to the operating system. So this is an example of a memory leak written by mistake. So what is the solution? The solution is to write this pseudo code as this. When a withdrawal amount is entered, get some memory to remember the amount, put the amount into the memory. If the amount is less than or equal to the account balance and the customer does not cancel the transaction, then debit the am account with the amount entered by the customer, dispense the cash amount and release the memory back to the operating system. Now this release happens outside this if Sta statement. So even if the transaction is cancelled or the amount is greater than the account balance, still the memory is released. So that was an example of how a memory leak can be introduced into the written source code by mistake. That's all in this tutor tutorial and see you in my other videos. Thank you.